you know, had some matchups that we liked as well, but I think the defense really ignited our offense tonight. You had seven guys in the oh, no, oh, so 38 points in the first half, 19-19. And so, yeah, at your point, we guarded well and scored 31-32. So that's what it was. You had seven guys in double figures. What did you think of the collective effort? Love the balance, um, you know, shots-wise. I think, you know, we got 9-9, nine, nine, 8, 15, 14, 11, nothing too high. And the numbers, obviously. So, uh, and I'm in head eight there. So, uh, love the balance as always. And uh, the more we can get stops and play, and not have to play call and get out and run. I think it's equal opportunity. It makes us harder to guard. You had talked about the team maybe playing more consistently after the last couple of games. What did you think about how it didn't really let off the gas for the whole game there? Yeah, it was a really good first half, like I mentioned, on both ends. Um, the whole night, two 19-point quarters and 31-32 for us. We're doing it on both ends there. Uh, I think other than the uh, start of the third a little bit, um, you know, they got some threes and some off offensive rebounds. We played a really business-like approach to it and um, always going to nitpick a little bit and find something, but that start of the third was the only hiccup we had for the most part. Greg Popovich wasn't here tonight. Do you have any message for him or, or comment on that? And can you comment on your relationship or his impact on you? Yeah, I mean, I've talked to him and um, obviously care about him and his well-being. And, you know, just keep our private conversation what it is and always looking forward to seeing him knowing, uh, hope, hope and know he'll be doing well. You talked about a couple of games ago how you weren't worried about Fred's slow start to the season on offense. Can you just talk about how, how much of a benefit is to have a veteran like Fred who's never too high or too low and how that helps the entire team? Yeah, I would think he has been around long enough to recognize that, um, you know, good shots are going to fall eventually. And, you know, yeah, at times vets take a little bit of time to get into the season, whether it's pacing themselves in training camp or whatever it may be. But I think him and Alperin, when they were struggling a little bit, as long as they were getting the quality looks, I was fine with that. And, you know, that's going to flip uh, at some point. And so they've been aggressive. They get the work in and are confident in what they're doing. So I'm not worried about them as much as a young guy. How much better is your offense when those two are both on, like working in tandem together? It seemed like the pick and roll between them was really going <coughs> Yeah, obviously you saw that was a huge part of what we did last year. Um, add Jalen into the mix now. If you can get all those three guys playing at a high level, we're going to be a different team. And um, yeah, that, that's a great, great a set for us to get those guys in actions. I think Fred is going to be aggressive making the right play, and Alpi's dangerous in the pocket. So uh, with the post-ups that he can uh, score there, I think him around the elbow on the perimeter and then him in the pocket, it's a great combination of scoring options for Alperin. Start to finish, do you think these last two games have been your best so far? Yeah, like I said, if you can point out a three-minute hiccup, you know, which was the end of the half against in the last game, and then the three minutes or three or so minutes to start the quarter in the third, um, you know, that's pretty consistent. So um, always going to try to be perfect, but um, that's your let up. It's obviously different than the uh, entire half, is what, which is what we saw early in the season. Understanding you've played good teams already this season, but to play back-to-back -back really good games, now how interested are you just to see how everything looks on Friday in Oklahoma City? Yeah, I mean, the, the opponent is, you know, obviously there's game plan specifics and personnel and all that. But um, when we are so up and down like we were, I was less concerned about the opponent and us uh, doing what we need to do and improve in those areas. And so, yeah, it'll be a big challenge. I mean, they are one of the top teams, but, um, you know, we've played them quite a bit and played them well at times last year. So we're confident what we're doing as long as we're doing the right things. You got a chance to get um, some of your guys who don't normally play into the game tonight. How good did that feel? And how difficult has it been to, you know, keep some of those guys motivated, knowing that you have so much talent to, you know, in your rotation? Yeah, it's always good to, you know, play guys on a blowout win specifically, and not just get them minutes in a blowout loss, obviously. But um, to get all those guys in and uh, for some extended minutes is great. Um, that, but they did play quite a bit in Golden State and helped us kind of spark that comeback. Um, you know, it's it's a tough job and it's part of being a professional. I've been through it as a player and I always have to be ready for when your number is called. But um, it's when you're 14 deep, you know, and, and it's going to be a, a thing. We're playing 10 at times, 9 at times, and so there's going to be some guys that are obviously unhappy, but the big message is stay professional, go about your work, and, it, you know, it's a long season where things happen and you're always going to get an opportunity. So it might be easier for the vets who've been around. It's more so than the young guys, but... Um, you know, that's our job to keep them motivated and them see the big picture. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.